to a stop. And uh, we're ready to go right now here at RealLibertyMedia.com. Having a little fun with what the fox said. What does the fox say? We're going to look a little bit at uh, some foxy loxies here today. Well, let me go over here and uh, go to what I've got prepared for today. It's the Matt Shea Report. Yeah, I've uh, getting a little cheeky here and taking a little inspiration in storytelling. This is Shea's Rebellion. It's the war in the West. It's a shaded saga in the sagebrush. A hair-splitting tale of cut and run and hoof to hide the truth on America's home front. Yes, the Matt. Shea report reminding you right now to remember you are what you do not what you say you do so become the media and take back your future journalism truth needs defense be the media this is what matters is ponder gander radio writing series here at rlm radio dot xyz real liberty media dot com i'm your host vincent easley find me at real liberty media dot com forward slash author forward slash vine Hashtag R log R L O G. Who's out there? Well, today it is another modest proposal. Rebellion. Rebellion. Or, or is it insurgency? Well, we'll have to look. But well, I've got it titled Rebellion: A Message to Tyranny. It shades rebellion from Bunkerville and before to. Uh, from Bunker Hill to Bunkerville, that is. Burns and beyond a sagebrush of regulars, rank and file, a meeting of the minds, and what it means to be militia. Well, might call it a fact-finding mission for just war. Is that just war? A just war? Well, is there such a thing? Wretched affections from hate to love. Now, if we're honest with ourselves, we'll have to admit that sometimes our assumptions and preconceived notions are wrong, and therefore our misinterpretation of, event, of events is incorrect. This causes us just to uh, overreact, take things personally, or to judge people unfairly. That's from uh, Elizabeth Thornton. Same last name, name is my friend, Brent Thornton, who uh, I'll be talking about today, um, coincidentally. That's from her book, uh, Wretched Affections, uh, From Love to Hate. And I believe that's chapter 24. You can find the, uh, the Google books out there, and you can read some of that. Uh, but that's like the, the intro to a chapter there. Like it's a chapter 24, I think it was. Uh, now that I've interrupted myself, let me continue. Because, so this is a ponder. It's a ponder gander here. Because everyone is equal under the sun, or under God. Do geese see God? <laughs> now, if you don't know who I am, Ponder Gander, this uh, over here in the uh, Real Liberty Media chat network over there, that's the constant uh, ponder, ponder Gander. And that is uh, p- a palindrome uh, drum there, uh, Do geese see God? So let me start it again. Because everybody is equal under the sun, do geese see God? And los patos, patos, hacen ruido. And how expensive is the toll? Ducks and paws, ducks and legs. Just ducks, ducks feet make noise. And what does the fox say? So there's another song here. If you're listening downstream, first of all, let's start at the top or at the bottom. <laughs> case maybe. If you're listening on YouTube, look down at the bottom, go over and click on the link, come back to the Real Liberty Media page here, the broadcast, the radio log, the R log, the blog, and, uh, for the uh, postcast here, and you'll find links and stuff, and a lot of fun to follow along with, and also uh, seriousness coming up here <coughs> after I after I have a little fun there. So yeah, we've got what the fox uh, says, and the other one I played uh, pre-show before Lonnie came on, and it is in Espanol, and uh, that's where I got a couple of them uh, because everything everyone is equal, and and. Uh, and some other words there. It's all in citations there in the blog. The log of radio. And there is a real pretty picture from this gal uh, on uh, Twitter. And you can click there for the in- image and find her back to uh, to her uh, Twitter account there. So she usually draws gory stuff. And here's a pretty fox with uh, a red tail and her red hair. 
And I come to this. Who cares about how the days pass? They continue freely. Wonders they want. Well, citizens within a hundred years, you'll no longer exist. <laughs> you really got to ask, does it matter? Well, what matters? Indeed, indeed. Um, so I've got lyrics and translation there and video where um, you can go back into uh, some... Uh, that, and that came, from, again, Circle, another great muse. You know where that came from. I've got the uh, lyrics translation. Let me open it up so I can just share this here back into the chat room. Uh, for our live listeners right now. Uh, thank you, Circle. She's always giving me good things to think about, sure enough. And she lives like way, way more further than 100 miles way over there and across the ocean and everything. Okay, I got that copy. This is uh, uh, the English translation from, um, where is it from? You'll have to help me. Is this Danish, Circle? I'll we'll post it and come back over here where I was at and uh, close that account, that our tab. Yeah, this is uh, Some Walk With Broken Shoes is a song, and I've got the video in there. I won't play it on air. Um, some Walk With Broken Shoes. So there's some good questionable lines in there, and I, I pulled a little bit out there and put it in. So, all right, let me go back where I was at. Right, who are we talking about anyways? Matt Shea. We'll come back to... Matt Shea, yes, as we stumble on it here. Here it is. And i got to come back to some of the fun part here a little bit later with uh, Leah Satilli. Here's a, here's a report uh, of investigation, and it's regarding Representative Matt Shea, Washington uh, State House of Representatives, December the 1st to 2019. And from Wiki, uh, an, invest, an investigation commissioned by Washington House of Representatives reported on December 1, 2019, that Shea had planned and participated in domestic terrorism on at least three occasions. On December 19, Shea was stripped of committee of committees and suspended from having any role in the House Republican Caucus. I've got the link here um, for that report. It, it's the uh, Rampart, Rampart, Rampart Group. Um, <coughs> And I, and I have some, uh, let me just continue on here. I've lined stuff up here and we'll, we'll take her from one side and, and roll her into to the other. Uh, this is from uh, Readout News, Rampart Investigation. <clears throat> it's Swedish. Thank you, Circle. Thank you very much. That, that, uh, that man that sings that. Come back to the, uh, come back to the uh, broadcast page here. If you're listening later, uh, after I publish, in, uh, or if you're listening now, you <clears throat> and retrieve this. Extra fun. So uh, it, uh, they read out news. Uh, Sherry Duvalli is a friend of mine. I've met out in Las Vegas, and uh, uh, she's the uh, the person that publishes this place here, and and some others that uh, that uh, have their uh, works written up there. And uh, we'll, we'll get more into that here. So one of the most significant uh, uh, demographic shifts in the United States today is the movement of. Uh, of people with fundamental American and Judeo-Christian values, uh, value systems moving into the inland Pacific Northwest, particularly this uh, this retreat to higher ground encompasses Montana, Wyoming, Idaho, Eastern Oregon, and Eastern uh, Washington. It's uh, it's hardly it's hardly visible as a strong current and under the surface, but it's there. That, my friend, is the American Readout. A stronghold, a safe ha haven, a refuge. Uh, John Jacob Jingle, my uh, Heimer Schmidt, says this. And I, I've got a link for you to click and listen. Um, this broadcast is cited by, by the report also. But this, this link here you'll find is from Readout News. Continuing, uh, listen to more episodes there at the uh, Radio Free Readout. This has uh, been part of this contention in this report. You'll find reference throughout that report there uh, quite often. <clears throat> but here we have an open letter to uh, to Kathy and Paul Leodler, and they are the uh, well, they're ex FBI agents, and uh, or at least one of them. Let's see here. But anyways, they they've uh, formed this Rampart group, right? Uh, and it's from 
Readout News. Now, the report of investigation regarding Representative Matt Shea, Washington State House of Representatives, was prepared by the Rampart Group and conducted by Kathy and Paul Leodler, uh, lead investigators. Ms. Leodler has uh, deep ties to the Federal Bureau of Investigation and other federal uh, agencies, while uh, Mr. Leodler has uh, ties to law enforcement, even at a global level. The Rampart Group describes itself as a private investigations agency and private security guard company. While the report itself contains clear bias, misrepresentations, and untruths regarding many issues, your report goes into depth about domestic terrorists and complete misrepresentations of groups labeling, labeling them anti-government. By your definition, the right of a citizen to stand up against a government tyranny has now been, been removed from... Let's start, start that again. Uh, by definition, the right of a citizen to stand up against the government tyranny has now been removed with the term domestic terrorist. Any attempt by a citizen to confront the government cast suspicion upon them, and they, and you, you there are to, and you are there to make sure the characterization fits. You really think citizens are unable to see what is being done here? Hashtag readout news. Now, as Washington Representative Matt Shea refuses to resign, Evan Bundy challenges the House report. This is from the Seattle Times. And uh, also I have, let's see, let's see. I've got some hashtags. This one here, I could open it. This goes back to to the readout news, I believe. And here's the... A clickable link for um, Emmett Bundy's Facebook video live stream here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna click it. This is not gonna be a violation. We're gonna play a little bit of beginning of it, such as the Republican Caucus and the Police Guild of Washington. Seattle Times headline reads: Washington Representative Matt Shea engaged in domestic terrorism against U.S. Says State House report. The article goes on that says State Representative Matt Shea planned and participated in domestic terrorism against the United States before and during the armed takeover of Malheur National Wildlife Refuge, an investigation commissioned by the Washington State House found. The 108-page report found that beginning in November 2015, Shea working with militia leader Ammon Bundy, myself, helped in the planning and preparation of the Malheur takeover. My friends, anybody else listening, including my enemies, that is a lie. If I was in the court, I would say that was a misrepresentation, but that seems too soft in this case because that is a flat-out lie. The report goes on to say that Representative Shea uh, was a leader, basically, in three armed conflicts, uh, of political violence against the United States government. And there's talking about the Bundy Ranch, an incident where he helped a veteran um, keep his guns, and the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. None of those, we used violence. None. The only violence that was used was violence by these government institutions the very same institutions that are attacking Matt Shea. Uh, it says, immediately after the report was released, Representative J.T. Wilcox, the Republican Minority Leader of the House, said Shea had been suspended from any role in the House Republican Caucus. He should resign, Wilcox wrote on Twitter. He cannot use House Republican staff. He cannot meet with the caucus. His office will be moved. Shea's name and picture were removed from the House GOP website. So they completely blackballed him and tried to make him basically not exist as a representative. Many of you know why we went to the Malheur National Wildlife. Okay, I'm going to stop there. You can pick up the rest of it and come back into the, uh, the broadcast page here uh, to pick up that link.
But you can find it on Facebook. Uh, you can do a search and find it in a lot of places. Ammon Bundy's public reply regarding uh, uh, Matt Shea. Ammon Bundy, uh, he says, you know, I pull out a, uh, some couple of quotes here. Uh, he says, not true. Of the report calling a Washington State representative a domestic terrorist. It cites Shea as uh, being in the planning and taking part of the 2014 Bundy Ranch standoff the uh, 2016 Oregon standoffs and uh, some other uh, activities. There was three, or I think that they in the report they want to uh, state specifically. I think that was the one in Idaho with a, a veteran on a, one of them uh, red flag laws. They wanted to take his guns, and <clears throat> so uh, there's a very long list in this report. There's uh, a lot of years that they uh, follow uh, Matt Shea, and we're going to come up to a, a point in uh, I may may pause the the recording and, and listen to a little bit of uh, Leah Satilli. But I, I took uh, several notes here, so maybe not. I just may go for the notes. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, where <laughs> where did I leave myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, and elsewhere. Matt Shea came along with other state representatives to protect his family, but Ammon says he, he says he doesn't recall having met him. Now, he stands for the people, Ammon says. He's been in office since 2008. His district loves him because he will stand, and he stands for principles. And if they want to remove him, they have the power to do so. These bureaucrats and the Republican caucuses, caucus and in, the, and, the, and in the police guild, he says, should have nothing to say whether Matt Shea remains as a representative of his district. <clears throat> This is a, from a friend of mine here, uh, Neil Wampler. He says, I met Shea at Bundy Ranch, but he was a latecomer, not a leader. He remained a spectator, and I Ammon didn't even know he was there. He goes on to say that he was at Malheur from the first day. Uh, uh, Neil is saying that he was there from the first day, and everybody knows who the leaders were. I never saw Shea, he says, or even heard his name mentioned. His treatment at the hands of his colleagues, who have shown themselves to be spineless hacks, is a black disgrace. Thanks, Neil. That was a comment to me on uh, my thread uh, the 21st here last week of uh, December 2019. And uh, Neil's a good man. I've got uh, I've got video of him there at the RealLibertyMedia.com uh, on the Real Liberty Media YouTube channel and uh, in the Bundy Ranch Standoff uh, playlist. And uh, you can. Uh, find a uh, uh, video there. Neil, I should probably in, in put it here in this blog, in the radio log. Now, we have this response from, uh, by committee to elect Matt Shea. So I, I would guess that this would be Matt Shea writing it himself, uh, or uh, somebody speaking for him anyhow. No official, high or petty, can prescribe what shall be orthodox in politics, nationalism, religion, or matter of opinion. United States Supreme Court in West Virginia Board of Education versus Barnett, 319 U.S. 624-642-1943. After $100,000 of taxpayer money and five months, the private investigator hired by the state found no evidence that Representative Shea presents an immediate direct threat to any individual or group. Despite this, so it is him speaking. I have been labeled a domestic, a terrorist, by a private investigator in Democratic donor, a donor, with no basis in law or fact. This was a sham investigation. That's a press release from Committee to Elect Washington Representative Matt Shea from the Inland uh, NW Report, Northwest Report, and uh, da -da. Oh, we're back to the storytelling now. <coughs> Y'all ready? Hold on, let me just go say hi over here. Hello, hi, in the chat room. At the broadcast in this live now. Uh, it's always the feds escalating uh, situations into violence. That uh, That's what I've seen. They, they set it up. You know, I've talked about this a lot, so I'll try not to digress. Um, back over here. <laughs> Ah, well, let's see if I can do this with a straight face. Buy the ticket and take the ride. Leah Satili is back again in her Hunter-esque, fanciful, fanciful fashion. I couldn't do it. 
fanciful fashion of storytelling. I, I have the list. Uh, the uh, well, I I embedded the player here uh, for uh, the overcast from the Seattle Times uh, politics and more. It's episode one nineteen. Bundyville podcaster is Leah Satilli on investigation of uh, Matt Shea. And I also included uh, the link there right below it back to the uh, the article at the Seattle Times. And below that, Oregon Public Broadcasting and Long Reads take us on a road trip reviewing the fourth installment from the, the podcast Bundyville. There's a link to listen. Uh, and I say here... Maybe they just wanted to be in control of the way the story ended. And I, I come back to, uh, what was the date on this? This has been some time back. Fear, I think it was a year or two already. Well, Fear and loathing left Las Vegas, storming the one-house town of Bundyville. The devil be damned, take, buy the ticket and take the ride. There's no turning back. We'd be fools not to ride this strange torpedo all the way out to the end with hurricane force. Determination. Lee and Ryan set the Tom Tom's course for fear and beyond to the fabled unknown. You can click continue right there in, in the blog page and get the rest of that. <laughs> that was a that was I had just a little fun. But you know what? Listen, seriously, there's lessons lesson to be taken uh, from Leah Sertilli and some others. Their writing style. You know they. They tell a story and make a intrigue. It brings the listener along, bring them into the story. It's it's a combination between journalism and storytelling. I'm going to say this about Leah. Lily, she's got it's gotten better, I think. Her, her second uh, Bundyville podcast was uh, was less uh, not without by any means, but less uh, of uh, her inserting her herself into the story. She did a good job. Uh, she she brought some very good things to point. I said in uh, in response to her, to part B, which I don't have included here now into the R-log, um, that uh, um, we you know we have a, a duty to to respond. So you know you can say anything you want to, however you want to, and it's the listeners responsibility to disseminate information so i'm not going to hold it against her you know that that she has an agenda that's hey you know i'm completely biased uh you know what i see here so you know i'm, I'm going to tell both sides of it or try to and i have a, a dong over here who said that hey over politics hello chloe tuned in there's a duck right there we got duck games playing over here in the chat rooms. We've got a couple of chat rooms opened up here. Politics 360. If you're nice, you can come over. If you're not, just stay away. <laughs> it's nice and peaceful over here. Hello, Chloe. Thanks for listening. All right, where was I? Let's go back over here, over here, over here. Yes, of course, this is where I was in Bundyville, with Leah Satilli. Well, let's see here if we can jumble through any of all these here. Uh, Turning off the fire hose. That's what she used to talk about. Uh, shutting down my, uh, Matt Shea. Now he's... I spoke in Washington. I spent the uh, some months of the summer there in 2017 and spoke in. I, I was blissfully unaware the whole time who, who he was. I He never stood out. I'm pretty sure that I've got video somewhere. Not on his computer. So don't bother hacking. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> NSA. No, just kidding. No, really don't. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that I've got pictures and video with Matt Shea and Michelle Fiore. You know what? Oh, boy. Is this a good time? Nah, let me wait till after I go through here. Then we'll get to... Yeah, I shared some... <laughs> I shared some pictures of Michelle Fiore. Now, if you'll look up there, Chloe, up above you... Uh, you'll see that I says, uh, and I'll explain those picks in the next hour. Thanks to Sky Reef for those. Follow him on Twitter. Now let, let me interrupt with this point right here. Let me say, uh, in this report, they called Matt Shea out on wanting to surveil and, and uh, reconnoiter who who the opposition is, who uh, uh, people involved in the Antifa movement, and so forth. Now, Sky Reef is on Twitter, and he probably has keeps. 
tabs on more people in uh, um, the, what do I call it? I just got to keep it simple. Poots. A, poots and patties. Okay. If you don't know what that is, uh, I explained it before. <laughs> Anyways. the Those that are for and those that ain't are for. <laughs> Anyways, he keeps tabs on everybody. I appreciate it because I like to. Hey, it's beeping at me. I like to know uh, things, and he makes it work easy. And uh, I appreciate his help. <sighs> Let's see. I have a dong over there. Yes. And okay. Yes, that was a message. Thank you, Chloe. Yes, that's right. She says only nice people. And uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> dissemination information. What, uh, man, just look back into you know the the Stasi or the the Nazis and you know Gestapo. Uh, how much uh, how much today's modern era saves any future uh, terrible uh, <laughs> tortures of people to find out who their friends and associates are because we tell it already. I mean, it's every there, everywhere, and so. I think it's good that uh, to let people talk, no censor, especially if they're bad people, let them talk, let them keep talking, right? All right? And keep track of people, anybody, whatever your political, you know, if you're putting yourself out there, then you've got to expect that somebody's keeping tabs on you. I figure they are on me. Um, Violence and surveillance. Well, that's some other accusations that uh, come from the report. Leo t Leah talks about the total effect. She talks about what what Matt does in his free time, <laughs> being a domestic terrorist. It's uh, in the report. So, uh, no reporter, though, she says, no reporter has said that. No reporter has called him a domestic terrorist. But uh, by this uh, ex-FBI agents in the Rampart uh, group, they do. So there's this expulsion, and uh, uh, Ammon talked about it. Uh, um, and she goes on to talk yeah, about his being ex you know, kicked out of the, the government building or, or his position of power. See the decision. Hal Anthony, thank you from Diane Woodshed. Um, she goes on to say that uh, Shay ho holds extreme views. And you know what? I think I, that it's not hard to agree with her at all on that. And he's been involved in a lot of things. Uh, and she says, uh, she says that uh, she knows quite a bit because she you know, was there in Spokane, living there. She worked at, uh, as a reporter at the days, uh, uh, her days at the Inlander, the newspaper there. She's a, uh, uh, Leah Satilli is written articles for a lot of big uh, uh, publications, uh, Rolling Stone, uh, Washington Post, uh, LA Times, I mean there's a lot, she's her works out there. And uh, hopefully she will uh, continue her investigative reporting skills, which she did in their last uh, second pod uh, Bundyville podcast, She'd, uh, she brought some good information to light, to light and I'd uh, advise listening to that. And again, I disseminate information, so I'm not afraid to uh, listen to all aspects of uh, of a uh, particular situation. <clears throat> so she goes on to say about his roles at, uh, of uh, at the uh, Bundy Ranch and at Malheur, uh, and he and what was uh, participated in chat with uh, what she calls his flock. Uh, Shay won't resolve, uh, resign, and she talks about his worldviews, the patriot movement, militias, sovereign citizens, white supremacy, and the evangelical attitude, and what what America is <coughs> as a Christian nation, and his ideas, and that uh, she says that he uses his position of power as a uh, uh, a missionary position as well, uh, not a missionary position, but a platform <laughs> that was Freudian for real uh, and he pals around with preppers and stuff <laughs> yeah that comes to uh, politics and religion and strange bed fellows I guess and that's where that Freudian slip come from and we're going we're gonna to get here a little bit to Michelle Fiore and uh, Franklin uh, Graham the son of uh, Reverend Billy Graham and I just can't help myself I've got to do it and thanks, Kyrie. We're gonna God will show them pictures again. I'll include it in the blog here. 
So it's a little poking fun for me. Where was I? Here I am. I never even left. Uh, yeah, so uh, reform the value. We're getting into talking about that, this 51st state, the state of liberty that uh, there seems to be a desire for by some folks around up in that part of the world. Eastern part of uh, Washington State thinks, uh, and then I would assume that they'd want to incorporate all the way down into the state of uh, Jefferson, perhaps in California. I know there was all talk about that at one time. So uh, she says that he uses his position as a missionary and uh, talks about the leaks uh, both on uh, Shea and Wooten. The Wooten, you know, that was involved in uh, really uh, instrumental. A revelation about what the, happened there, the the uh, terrible injustice by the so-called Justice Department uh, against the Bundys. Well, we hear a just war, a, a, a just war, one that is just, and the theory of that, the biblical basis of uh, biblical war, a uh, 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 a, a dominant, uh, well, a battle plan. Now, inside this the theocratical government that they would supposed to have, which I wouldn't want any part of, uh, they said there'd be. There's a long list, and it's in the report. Among them is to stopping abortion, same-sex marriage, and it would include death penalty for things like sodomy and and uh, other uh, private affairs. Of people again back into this politics and religion and strange bed feathers, <laughs> yeah, feather the bed there, bedfellows. Where does that leak? Uh, oh yeah, leave you, leave you leaking, running off here. Well, <clears throat> leaves a lot of question. So it was. Uh, Shay says he was on a fact finding mission when he went to Bunkerville in 2014 and other places, cutting the cutting red tape, so to say, uh, looking at how <coughs> land for uh, land transfers and uh, uh, they formed the uh, coalition of Western states, uh, cl collectively known as CALS, representatives from a few places. <laughs> yeah, Grumner, that was fun. <laughs> Go with the missionary thing. Uh, Ed Meyer, 2016, on the planning part, he says, in cryptic emails. Uh, there's, there's questions of uh, him uh, saddling up with legislatures and uh, uh, kind of a proffering of a false religion in so many ways. What was this? How did the Mormons and mainstream come together? Because, you know, the, the Bundys being Mormon and then uh, Shea and uh, these folks up here that they will, I will later identify as what they call Christian identity and others, uh, how they partner up? Strange bedfellows, again, in, in uh, religion, right? Political uh, aims and motivation is uh, perhaps why, as uh, Leah Satilli suggests, uh, and all the people's common cause, well, they run the ones off that really want to know part of it and I was their witness to that in 2014 yeah little dog bad person uh, Louie screwy Louie Louie Pepper bad person there were probably others there too well what really made people come in what made the uh, the Bundys the uh, poster child I think she called it did you he, he stood up there as a poor rancher being picked on by the government Now she goes on to talk about the Christian identity and uh, plus fringe of uh, of the anti-government worldview, and what was Shay's role in all of this? Was he pla a planner uh, or uh, uh, was he there as findings? Is a, so a planning or a finding committee in a sense? It's hard to know beyond the report. Uh, Leah says so herself, and uh, talks about flashpoints and and the militia. Uh, and them looking for this just war, and and I've said before, uh, boy, we want to uh, uh, avert any like that. But there are people there; they are hunker, uh, yeah, hunkering for for some hunk of hunk of burning hate, not love, right? Well, we talked about the the sugar pine. For some reason, did not make it into this uh, rampart uh, group report. 
And I, I've got a question. Why would they hire? Why, if there's some idea of crime, why wouldn't they had whatever law enforcement agency is in jurisdiction to inve investigate? And I can tell you about how FBI ex FBI agents work. They are so like uh, Agent Axe in in Bruce Doucette's trial. He was one of these undercover FBI agents, and he did it for fun. He said, "I don't even want any money." He was retired. Yeah, you know, so was these people here. The uh, rapport, rapper, to rap, yeah, rap, rap, rap. Their report, <clears throat> ex FBI. Well, I'm going to tell you what I know about people like them. That they're uh, they are a part of a continuing agenda. Just don't don't think just because they've left the the FBI, they have no more uh, intention of having the fun that they like to have. Sick, sick people. They are. They've got sick minds. I've I've seen. These FBI informants undercover were looked at. Them. Yeah, not nice people. And they go to try to make it. Oh, wait a minute! I've left off. I, let me get back to where I was at. It was a little side roll there. Well, they talk about uh, where was I? Uh, yeah, look, middle, militia looking for a reason. They are. Yeah, there is people doing that. Talked about the chat uh, logs, and they were released, uh, leaked, and uh, uh, Jay Pounder and. Uh, Tanner Rowe, uh, these were affiliates, and they kind of had uh, uh, second thoughts at some point for uh, their um, working together with Matt Shank, who uh, said that they had concerns about his religiosity and of uh, some theocratical form of uh, government or governance in the, uh, the area. Plus, uh, talk about the sheriff up there in Spokane, and uh, he's, uh, he's a big... Uh, not a friend of uh, uh, Matt Shea. Can't call that sheriff's name, name up there, but it, it wouldn't be hard to find. Also, Antifa activity. Um, well, that, uh, and I think probably Leah probably is uh, pretty correct. And there's, I don't think, she says there's just not a, really a lot of activity in Spokane. I've never seen anything, but I guess there's not a lot of, there's a lot of things I didn't see, I guess. But I did see a lot in, in Spokane. I liked it there. It's great. Yeah. I'd like to go back and visit again. Well, is it in the air, this uh, religiosity? And also about uh, how exuberant it was when uh, Trump won and Shea in the elation and all in the winning. And <coughs> she says that uh, Shea is paranoid in uh, talking about his uh, having got uh, garnered up a, a, a security force there when uh, an event in Spokane because he was scared of uh, Antifa. Antifa Fay. <laughs> I, I had a friend named Auntie Fay. He say, Auntie, Auntie, shut up, child. She say, <laughs> not really. <laughs> well, what turned uh, what turned him? This pounder fella. Yeah, we talked about. I did. I just said that. Why? Wow. He's just, uh he's kind of scared to his religious authority. <laughs> woof, woof. I <laughs> hey, Chloe, woofy. Yeah, well, in some of these released, <laughs> with some of these released chat logs, they was talking about oh some mean things, but some f send them wolf nuts or I mean the uh, testicles. That comes from the uh, <laughs> the podcast. The uh, the uh, one of the two fellows there I have to go over and open it up, look at it, get their names again. But it's included here. They were interviewing uh, Leah Sotillian, so they had they had a good chuckle about uh, uh, the K nine. All right, well, let's see here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now, we're going to Marble Falls and the Birds. Uh, it's a religious community. It was started up in the 90s. Now, uh, Shea has been involved in that um, uh, 10 or 12 years, speaking every year, like at a 4th of, 4th of July event, uh, talking in the report about um, um, training children in combat and stuff, which, uh, I don't know, it's like, what, Super Boy Scout stuff, I don't know, uh, is it, uh, okay to not do it yourself, or in a community, or in a church, and, but leave it to the hands of the government, there's a lot of questions here, you know, the, the, it's 108 pages, a lot of, well, 80 good pages anyways, and the rest of it, I think, is reference, but, to the report, 80 pages, I read it, I skimmed through <coughs> part of the, uh, the outline over the years there, that, um, but I'll, I'll go back because I want to look more specifically at a few other things in there. But it won't be coming to air 
I, I should I should read it separately and then put it over to the Pondergander podcast player. Um, so anyway, this religion, it came out of what was called the Ark. So, uh, Christian identity, there's all kinds of names they, they hang on these people, right? I don't even know, but there's, there's several. And factions and whatnot. Anyways, uh, and I didn't find it, I started out and didn't finish the to search here for this uh, bluegrass uh, band that they had there. It's uh, called Legacy. And they play bluegrass and kind of uh, uh, shoot them up bang bang freedom music, I guess you might say. And uh, it, But anyway, so these folks talk about the Jews, you know, as, uh, uh, over there in Israel is, is being uh, uh, not the ones to, just to inherit all of the kingdom of God that they say it be. And uh, that these uh, were actually whites. They're the true Israel, and you find them in the Christian identity, Aryan nation, uh, people like Richard Butler, and so forth. <clears throat> I guess the list would probably be pretty long, uh, and it would be a lot to uh, disseminate. I don't, I, I don't favor that uh, sort of idea, personally, and, um, but the guy's elected official, if people vote him out. Now, what if the majority of the people wanted to live in an idea like that. Well, as long as there's not laws that say they're going to start cutting people's heads off uh, for uh, any number of uh, religi religiosity crimes of suppose. I mean, stick a needle in your in your arm or any other place that you can get something to prick to stick. Anyways, it ain't none of my business. Their business, your business, or nobody else's business. Grimner, I mean, uh, Guberzil is. Uh, uh, message me when you follow up broadcast. I'll try to catch you. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. We'll we'll catch you. Yeah, I'll uh I'll be posting it. Ha ha. Hello, hello, buddy Wolfie. All right. Let's see here. Where was I? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. God and country. The God and country. Fourth of July. He's been there over the past ten years. They're speaking, and this is no media invites. You're not. This is an invite only type of thing. Now. Was it Leah? Yeah, I think she got up and uh, got a little bit. I, I got to congratulate her again as an investigative reporter. And she's a little old mousy gal. Now, I'm going to tell you, but, uh, she sure showed some courage in some of her uh, encounters and excursions. So props were in credit where credit is due. Uh, I... Uh, I ended up here with uh, this towards the end of her broadcast, and you're talking about uh, white nationalists and the white homeland in the Pacific North, Northwest and the state, and how they're shopping for people in, uh, in, in a sense, to uh, be a part of that ideology. And uh, that uh, Matt Shea comes out and proud uh, and compares himself to Trump as far as uh, his, uh, making things great again. And uh, the persecution, like that, he sees that uh, Trump's got on uh, the impeachment. Let me go back here now. That was uh, that was my handwritten notes. Let me go back over here. We've uh, scrolling down. I read all that. Okay, related. Uh, <clears throat> I have this here. Uh, I, this goes back. Um, <laughs> well. I guess it was yesterday. I was trying to just do a little bit of edit on my profile over on the uh, Twitter. And I lost my, my background picture and my profile picture, so I had to put it in here. But anyways, here's where I got my profile picture. It's a snip out of uh, uh, Las Vegas News 3 interview in 2017. And I've added this in here. Related former prosecutor mass shooting could affect a Bundy. So again, this is 2017. Bundy supporter Vincent Easley says it's possible. And it's in there about the allegations and people just making things up. Even um, there's a lot. I got a lot left here. Bundy Ranch, we're uh, we're trading one form of slavery for another. Now, what I'm saying is that all we Americans that uh, that uh, what I am saying is that all we Americans are trading one form of slavery for another. All of us are in some measure slaves of the federal government through their oppressive tactics, tactics of telling the ranchers how many cows they can have 
and on. Now, this is on uh, reallibertymedia.com uh, forward slash author forward slash find. You can find this here or do the search there. This is uh, um, Clavin Bundy talking about this. I took this, see, uh, April 25th, the 2014. This is what Clavin Bundy had to say. And you're going to have to come over here and read it. As uh, I'm going to run through here. Here is more, too, from the real three percenters of Idaho from uh, Eric. That's uh, E.J. Parker. They call him the sniper on the bridge. Here's a nice uh, long... I think somebody's out there on the wheeler. I couldn't hear because my, yep. my headset. Let's see. Uh, where was I? E.J. Parker. And... He says, in their eyes, he destroyed my prosecution by releasing and talking about the Wooten memo. To them, he must be dealt with. What they do not understand is that by some time, we already kicked their asses twice, and they had already lost the narrative. They could not tell it to a jury. Sure, we took losses, but the indictment lie as a whole was not something 12 other human beings could get behind once they heard both sides. I'm not going to read it. I'm going to I'm going to leave it here for for the reader. And I've got I'm going to keep this going on down. I've come down to uh, the report. This is long. There's a lot. I mean, the language used here, um, accusations and anonymous. I mean, they have hidden identity so that you know there's no uh, face in the accuser. They say in the end of the report here. This is a report of investigation regarding. Representative Matt Shea, Washington State of House, uh, State House of Representatives, December first, twenty nineteen. Um, no, no chance to. Uh, they they wanted. They said, "Yeah, you can answer our questions." And he he didn't respond. They sent him email and some other stuff, and uh, no response. So they assumed he wasn't going to respond. Matt Shea was not going to respond to them. And and what uh, I mean, I don't know. Does is this is this legit? Is there uh uh, it's probably, uh, has anybody else done this sort of thing? Hired out uh, private investigators to do, you know, uh, a report on on uh, somebody sitting in the seat of decision like yes. Yeah. Well, I, I have more here that, that really relates. You know, are they going for, are they going after people closely in, in a leadership position and uh, in the counter movement? Is it is it wrong to rebel? Is it wrong that that Matt Shea would come to stand in the gap, to send a fact finding, uh, to uh, ask that uh, you know let's take notes, let's uh, you know kind of like a battle plan, I think is what he called it, tactical. Uh, somebody has called it that, anyways. But we're in occupation. <laughs> fighting one side to another to, to slaves. We're all slaves. It's like Clive and Bunny says. Um, there's more here. Those are defending the innocent. This comes to the, the persecution of and prosecution of Rick Quaver. Somebody else I met <coughs> and uh, have video uh, interview and recordings. They're on the uh, Real Liberty Media YouTube channel. The Bundy Ranch Standoff playlist. It should be here in this radio. I'll go all the way to the bottom you'll find it. Or search it out. Well, those who are defending the innocent are being hunted down by the by the judges and prosecutors. Ammon Bundy says, "Sunlight is the best disinfectant." Uh, disinfectant here, here infectant. Uh, here's facts you won't hear anywhere else. Let's expose their crimes for all to judge accordingly. Free Rick Koiber, uh calling out Judge uh, Paul Warner. There's a video uh, link there. And uh, that you can send uh, pre-stamp uh, pre postcards only. This is to uh, uh, address here if you'd like to make contact to Rick Coiver in uh, Weber County Jail. Inmate Claude Roderick Coiver, K-O-E-R-B-E-R, P.O. Box 14,000, Ogden, Utah, 84412. We come down here to the bottom. We'll find an internet radio station that uh, I always click on to, Jenna, when I'm uh, listening to Real Liberty Media right here. Uh, this has been What Matters, a Ponder Ganner. It's a radio writing series with me, Vince Neasley. 
to think and reason, raising expectations through thought-provoking episodes. Standing in the gap. That's what I'm doing. Serious about it. Connecting voices and considering perspectives. Broadcasting what matters worldwide. Right here, reallibertymedia.com. Author, Brian. <laughs> Radio reading. It sounds great. Less feeling. <laughs> Tell, I did I tell the rest of this, tell YouTube to get bit and go to BitChute. Listen, if you're listening at YouTube, go down to the description, click on, come back here. You can make your way over to BitChute. If you're not on BitChute, you ought to be. BitChute.com. Also there, let's see, let's see. I think I'm wrapped up. Yeah, whatever I've used, I've uh, I've done it under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allows is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, you suck, uh, comments. I was talking a lot. News, yes, right. News reporting, dee 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 dee. Reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Take your pick. Thanks, y'all. I'm gonna go push stop. Hey, well, in the meantime, remember, Liberty Media. Come on back. Uh, Figures ball tonight. It's a prediction. Uh, coming to reallibertymedia.com. Jump into the uh, chat channel there and you can put a prediction in. What do you predict for next year? What do you have any resolutions? Well, come on back and play along if you like and listen in tonight. Come back Sunday for uh, the big hit day around here. Uh, Freakers Ball uh, tonight. Uh, Grimner plays Blue Sunday at... Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. We got Hal Anthony from behind the woodshed. Check the schedule for more. What's playing right here at Liberty Media? Real Liberty Media. Real Liberty Media. Real Liberty Media. Hey, 